and welcome back to Legacy of Leaders, where we interview the brightest and most interesting leaders in Jacksonville. I'm your host, Whitney Mincy, and I'm joined by a very special co-host, Adam Chaskin, the CEO of the Jewish Community Alliance. We also have a very special guest, Dr. Samira Maimond. And Dr. Samira, I'm going to allow you to tell us the name of your organization so that I don't mess it up. <laughs> it's a Maimond Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. And can you tell us what is a maxillofacial? Maxillofacial is basically the jaw bones in your face and the whole oh. facial structures and the bones that make up the face. So I, I deal within the specialty of those bones as well as doing regular dentistry, surgical dentistry. Excellent. Well, thank you for that. And I know Adam has some great questions yeah. for you. I'll let Absolutely. you take it away. Well, first of all, thank you very much for joining us today. Yes. And, thank and you. Tell me, I've, I've heard a little bit about your story, but tell us, you know, why did you choose to go to this direction in your career? So when I was very young, um, I saw a um, commercial with Operation Smile with Cleft Lip and Palette. I was mm. very young when I saw the, the show, and it just showed the before where the children were in different countries and they had cleft lips or cleft palates, and that really inspired me to want to be an oral surgeon because that was the track that I wanted to go. Um, and then after college, I went to dental school at Baylor, and after that, um, I joined the military, and I trained at the President's Hospital at the National Capital Consortium in Bethesda, Maryland. Wow. Uh, I was a chief resident during the height of the war in Fallujah in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, did a lot of surgeries at that time. That Back then, we had the 120-hour work week, not the 80-hour <laughs> work week we have now. Wow. So I pretty much lived at the hospital for uh, four years uh, during my residency. Uh, and I was blessed to come down to Jacksonville to be the department head here in Jacksonville Naval Hospital. Uh, and after that, I opened my own practice and um, had Zachary open my own practice. And then um, I'm, an, I'm a Navy reservist as well currently. And I'm a captain, a commanding officer with the Marine Corps unit up in Fort Dix, New Jersey. Well, wow. first of all, thank you very much for your service. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So, um, not an easy career, especially for a woman. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about how that's affected and that some of the, the extra things you've had to do. So um, it, it was quite a challenge. Um, it's a very male-dominated uh, field. Surgery in general is a male-dominated field, but even more so oral surgery. Uh, at this point, I think there's only about 8 to 10 percent of the dental schools that actually have females that uh, are um, attending oral surgery training programs. Uh, it, I was one of probably the very few, very first women uh, that went through the training program, and now 20 years later, uh, we have at least one female resident, I believe, even in Jacksonville during the residency training program, and it's just uh, really nice to see that glass ceiling being lifted, and uh, we still have a long way to go, uh, but it's just a, an honor for me to have been uh, part of that group 20 years ago that you know, started this uh, this training. Uh, very difficult, it was very grueling, a um, lot of challenges, but uh, all good things in life come with challenges. So yeah. I'm very glad to be able to be in this profession. Oh, fantastic, and now you mentioned you've gone from 120 to an 80 hour work week. <laughs> 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 and I'm sure that gets stretched maybe a little higher at times as well. Times. Um, and you mentioned, Zachary, you have you know have a family. So how do you balance your, your life and, and what do you do to just get away from you know the work part. Well, uh, first of all, I have really good staff. That's the first thing in the office, yeah. so they're able to manage a lot of things at home. Uh, my, you know, my husband takes care of uh, Zachary at times. Uh, we also, uh, he's 12 now, um, so he's a little bit more independent. Uh, start just started sixth grade, so. Um, He's just very, very adept now at um, taking care of himself, and I think a lot of that independence really came through the assistance with JCA, honestly, being involved in theater, uh, letting him express himself and being uh, more emotionally involved in things, uh, having some roles with playing the basketball, uh, really kind of taking some ownership. Um, I think he's really been able to progress and excel with a lot of the activities that he's been involved in at, with, at JCA. Thank you for pointing that out. You led me right into where I was going to go next. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, we you know we it's been great having Zachary in our theater program and our and our recreation programs. And if you could just speak maybe a little bit more about how that's helped him and your family, and even what he's doing beyond that maybe started the J, but some of the things he's doing outside the J with his acting. Life. Absolutely. So uh, I, I I cannot thank uh, Shelley Higgins enough for just the outstanding work and the patience and. You know, my dad came to see one of the plays, and he said, I don't know how you get all these kids to all do the same thing at the same time. You know, there's so many, right? Uh, but she's extremely gifted and talented and patient and loving. And really, Zach's been in six plays uh, with a lot of major roles. And um, 
he has really been able to become more independent and be able to express himself um, to the point now where he's actually doing formal acting classes um, and wow. he'll be going to LA to try out for some commercials and stuff, which is fantastic, wow. right? Uh, mm -hmm. But also just you know being involved uh, with uh, basketball training and basketball and the intramurals that are offered at JCA, that also gives him confidence. So he'll be trying out for the basketball team at his school coming up in October. So you know I, I cannot thank the JCA enough for the opportunities uh, that it's really afforded our family. Family. Can't thank you enough. That's thank fantastic. You. I think we could talk to you all day, Dr. Samira, but <laughs> right. unfortunately we yes. are out of time. So Absolutely. thank you so much for being here. And if you want to learn more about Dr. Samira and the amazing work that she's doing, make sure you go to IWantABuzz.com. We will see you next time on Legacy of Leaders.